Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. All right. So in this video, we are going to cover why NIME is based on Node or why it is a Node-based application. And we're going to cover what the term ETL stands for and why it's important for our work. And we're going to talk about what makes it so great for us as procurement people. All right, so NIME is great at what is called ETL. And ETL stands for extract transform and load so basically what you do you extract data into the nime analytics platform from a source file from a database from wherever you host your data then you transform the data so you do calculations you join it with other data you group the data you delete unnecessary data, you enrich the data, um, you connect it with other data sources before you finally load it into your target application. And that can be quite a lot of things that can be once again, a database that can be as in our example, a spreadsheet file, this can be ERP files, this can be Tableau, or as we will later learn throughout this course, a PowerPoint automatically created PowerPoint file. So you still might ask yourself, what exactly is a node? Well, let us first do a short comparison. Just imagine you have a data project report you have to do and you have to do it from start to finish. Usually if you do it in applications like Tableau, Excel, Power BI and so on, you do major steps, big steps, big complicated formulas, big pivot tables, this kind of thing to come to a result. And the problem with that is that you might discover that you're on the wrong way very late because the best thing that happens if you are on the wrong way is that you get an error message, but sometimes you don't even get that. You just get wrong data and you don't recognize it. With NIME, it is different because in NIME, you make small steps, micro steps, so to say. So these are mini steps. And at first, this sounds like a big disadvantage. But from my point of view, it's one of NIME's biggest advantages because it allows you to control the result of your work immediately. So a note in a NIME workflow does one thing and one thing only. If you remember the Excel reader node from the very first workflow we built together, that Excel reader does just one thing. It reads an Excel file. It does not calculate anything. It does not delete rows in any way. It does not pivot data in any way. It just reads an Excel file. But the big advantage, if you remember, we right clicked on the node and had a look at the output file. If you remember that, we could immediately control if the program did what we wanted. And of course, this all goes hand in hand with automation, meaning you connect these micro steps together to a fully functional automation. And you only do this once. And once you have done this, you let the automation run from start to finish automatically. And you can even schedule that and you'll learn how to do that later in the course. Besides this obvious big advantage, it has several other advantage advantages to go these micro steps. And one of the other advantages from my point of view is that you can also learn a lot, especially if you're new to NIME, you immediately learn what a specific thing does in NIME. 
especially when we also look at the visual language that NIME uses. It's basically data science um, on a low-code or no-code platform, if you want. It is also a very agile way of working, which gives you fast results. So NIME allows for a fail-fast principle, which is a very, very good thing, because not only do you learn a lot, but you immediately recognize, uh, recognize what doesn't work, and you find your way to the path that does work for you. If you allow a personal comment, for me, it also in, um, inspired me, because from seeing what didn't work, it inspired me what kind of kind of notes I could combine together to come up with results that maybe help me solve other tasks than the one I currently had at hand. So maybe it is the same for you. We will talk about the visual language of NIME focusing on the notes in the very next lesson. See you in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.